This is the commissary. Every post has a commissary and it's connected to the PX. So every post has a commissary and a PX. As you can see, people are going shopping. PX stands for post exchange and it's like our little mall type, Walmart-ish type um, store. So it has um, household stuff in there, furniture, TVs, clothes, toys, makeup, that type of store. All these people, and they're selling Christmas trees out here. So, look at the Christmas trees. I never had a fresh live Christmas tree. I don't think I want one either. Look at these houses, boo. Look at these big snowmans they got. You know, that's what I was talking about. You like it? Look at over here. Look at, they got lights over here. I didn't see those. Another big snowman. Oh, that's Santa. These are some nice houses, huh? Here's some more. Wow, they got a whole village. A whole village out. Uh huh, it looks cute. So we are on base on Fort Belvoir and this is what some of the housing looks like if anybody was interested in looking at what some of the military housing. Now their housing here is actually pretty nice looking. I've never actually been inside the housing. I have been in the barracks. Oh, there's some. I see some. Um, but it's this this housing area is pretty nice. Now it is broken down by um, rank, so that's how typically most military housing is. It's broken down by rank. Of course, all the officers live together, and then lower enlisted live together. Um, and then they break it out even further, usually by, um, usually by junior enlisted and then senior enlisted. Because of the fraternization, um, you are not allowed to fraternize with officers. And that's including like living with them. So it's no sense in having like a young private living next to a captain and hanging out, you know, on the weekends or at nighttime because then that would be fraternization. So they just separate them. Hey everybody, it's Army Princess here and welcome back to the channel. It is a Vlogmas, the 12 days of Christmas and today is day six of the 12 days of Christmas and guess where we are? Where are we, Giselle? At, um, at the soccer. <laughs> we are on base on Fort Belvoir and we are at Giselle's soccer field. This is where she normally does soccer practice, but they have the tree lighting ceremony today and they have the holiday festival on post like a small little festival on post so they have a lot of um christmas arts and crafts christmas workshop uh christmas things that they're selling here in this little um gym house that we're gonna go into and i'm gonna take you all along with me then after that i'm gonna go to the px so i do need a few things from the px we can look at the toys yourself but we're not gonna buy anything okay we're going to look at the toys because they have all of the Christmas one, Winter Wonderland Toyland stuff up and there? at the PX. You know, your favorite place. 
I thought that'd be cool to take you all along to the PX so you can see what the military post exchange looks like, what they have inside, and um, then we'll eat at the food court. Yeah. Giselle's favorite place to eat. Like at one point she was asking if we could eat dinner at the food court. So this is pretty cool. They have like a little ice skater ring set up for the kids. A snow globe. They got horse, horse riding. Bouncy house. And there's the Christmas tree. Which they're going to light up. And what is that over there? I don't know. We're going to see what that is over there. But I didn't know that it was outside. So the cell looks so cute. Let's show them what you got on. But if I would have known it was outside. Okay, button your coat up. I was just so cool. They have a campfire here and a s'mores pit. So we have the stick and let's open it up and we'll see what, they, what we got. Set it here. We're going to set it here. Hold the box. Whoa! You got stuff to make us a, a s'mores on the campfire. This is so cool. Open can you it. Hold it. No, you can let it go. Open it up. Look at the sail so cool. You gotta come up a little bit more. This the other way to the fire. Papa. This kit is so cute. It comes with marshmallows, graham crackers, and um, the, ch the chocolate. And then all the kids are standing there roasting their marshmallows. So they have all these food trucks set up. Yummy. Your girl ain't eat none though. But it's cool that they have it. They um, roast their hot dogs and sausages over there. Let's see what's going on over here. Look at Gavin, doesn't he look so cute? Hi Papa, with that one tube showing. Hi Papa. I'm over here Papa. He got on his Christmas outfit. Messing with her, her stick for the marshmallow. Welcome to the Fort Belvoir Post Exchange. So this is what it looks like. It's huge in here. It's like very, very big. And the best thing about the PX is everything is tax free. But some of the stuff is expensive. Some of the stuff I would not buy. Like this shirt, $58. Uh, well, it is Michael Kors, so. Yeah. Clinique. My nose is running. Bobby Brown. My nose is running. Okay. Michael Kors. Coach. Dunienberg. I do think a lot of their kids clothes are cheap especially like the stuff like this like these carters they normally have them marked down to like ten dollars for the set so i usually get like a lot of giselle's clothes i used to get a lot of her clothes 
and like baby stuff, baby gear. They got this whole baby section in here. Let's look at the shoes. Gavin needs some shoes. Like, look at this, $10 for these shoes. Let's see what they got here. Gavin needs some. Oh. You like those? Sneakers. These are cute. We should get them, please. Put these back. They're not. I don't like those. Maybe some like this. Ooh. You like those? Yeah. You like those, Papa? You like it? If he if he touches it, then that means he likes it. Yeah, he likes it. Then that means he likes it. Ooh. I think I might get him some white shoes. I don't know what size he wears. So, my goodness, look at these little button down shirts. You like them, boo? Gavin already has one of these. This is so cute. It's got the ones he made in the bottom. The and look at the little dinosaur shirt. This is so cute. The cute little Christmas dresses for the girls. I'll get one of those. Those are for babies. Oh. So, you know what? I wish we had a baby girl. What? Yeah. I don't think we need to have any more babies. Yes, we do. Yeah. We're going to have two brothers. Excuse me? Yes. <laughs> no. Yes. All right, you're going to grow another baby in your belly. What? Yes, you are. No. You want another baby? Eat a lot of food, okay? A lot of food so I can grow another baby? Yeah. Please eat a lot of food. No, I don't think I want any more babies. Yes, you do. Then you have a lot of brothers and sisters. Can you put this bow back on? And then I won't have any money. You'll have to buy a lot of clothes and diapers, right? Oh, that was it. Oh. All right, let's go. Get off the people couch. You like that couch? Get your feet down. Come on, let's go. Because you're doing the most. I do like this couch. Is it soft, Giselle? Yeah. It's softer than ever. Use it. Let me feel it. We need to get a new couch. I like this couch. Look and see how much it is. Can you tell the price? $2,000 couch. Mm. It's a nice couch, nine, though. Ten, I don't know about for $2,000. I like the material. $12? That You think that's how much it should cost? Uh, $13, $14. That's for Granny for Christmas. The good thing about the food court is you get a little bit of home. So especially, definitely if you overseas like Germany, Japan, Korea, and you feeding for like some back home food like I was, like my first duty station was Japan. So I think we had like pizza place, we had uh, Popeyes, Taco Bell, uh, Burger King, some other restaurant, but it's, it gives you a little bit of home when you definitely overseas people take advantage of the food court here not so much because you can just go off base and go to applebee's or wherever you want but overseas 
That food court is life. <laughs> Can I have spinach, lettuce, green peppers, onions, black olives. Can I have extra olives? Um, salt and pepper. Actually, just pepper is fine. That's good. And then uh, sweet onion. And that's it. Giselle had a cheeseburger. She was hungry. What'd you say? She crashed it. That's what she calls smashing it. She got, I guess she don't eat pickles. White milk and applesauce. And Gavin's playing with the toy from the kids' meal. Giselle said, take it away. <laughs> Gavin, you like it, don't you? Yeah. I'm about to flash my sandwich.